everybody, I'm Manny. Welcome back to my channel, SoCal Shave. So we're gonna do a take two. So apparently, I already had started the intro, did everything, and again, I forgot to hit the damn record button. I don't know what the hell is going on, but it's becoming a damn issue. It seems to be like something I'm constantly doing now. So, all right, let's try to do this again. So, if you guys can tell by the title of the video, I'll be using this for the first time. This was a soap and splash set that was picked up from my buddy, Mike Yasmer on Instagram. So buddy, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. If it wasn't because of you, I probably would have never pulled the trigger. Um, he had, like, like I mentioned last time, I don't know if I mentioned it last time, maybe I did. Uh, he had messaged me uh, at the time and says, hey, uh, I picked up some products for you. Would you mind if I send them over? Uh, do you like Bay Rum? I told him, no, I don't like Bay Rum. Uh, Giving you the long, long story of it. And but I told him, you know what? I've actually been thinking about getting into it, branching out, and getting, you know, venturing into different uh, territories, the, the the darker side of, if you will, because uh, these are kind of darker scents, and they're not something that appeals to me. But uh, I, I want to get into them. <clears throat> I want to get into them because my sense have changed over time, and things I excuse me things i didn't like i like now so i figured you know let's try it out so again <clears throat> atomic age bay rum by crown king and this is the um coke and butter formula from phoenix artisan accoutrements and there is the scent uh or the um ingredient list if you will i'm sorry or what i mean ingredient list and uh i am a bit shaky I just finished waking up <clears throat> and this is a used soap um, that was on a piff table so someone didn't uh, take a liking to the scent or maybe just the performance I don't know um, but luckily I got a hold of that thanks to Mike so that <clears throat> then my matching attaché splash you guys can see also been used my razor of choice is the red tip uh, TTO and this is a B4 B as in boy B4 my um, blade of choice would be the persona platinums or the Israeli reds as those of you guys are probably used to calling them this is what the pack looks like out of the uh, um, little box there and load my blade there you guys go that's what those blades look like tighten that down now that blade is the first time in that razor that that combo I've never used before the red tip for those of you guys who don't know is one of the most aggressive TTOs that Gillette has um, and I think US versus British I was told the British one the UK one is uh, more aggressive um, from what I remember I'm not sure I think so I think so excuse me um, but uh, for me, me and Gillette razors haven't really got along because the razors are very picky with blades. You can't use almost any blade in, in for me, for me and my hair growth, the, the, the thickness, the coarseness of my hair growth and the way that it grows in different patterns. They're very picky. Uh, the Gillette, the Gillette razors are very, are very, um, they're a very odd one out to get along with. You have to find a certain combo to them. Um, and that's what I've uh, come, come to uh, see. Uh, for an example, uh my my uh, adjustables are work really well or sometimes work really well with the uh permit sharp depending on the settings and they also work really well with the vosh cut uh, my black barrel the one that looks like this but it's got the black barrel barrel on it that works really well with the uh derby premium the black pack um this razor and i have not gotten along um it's a pretty aggressive razor i've got very aggressive uh, razors if you guys have already seen um this is the blade gap is not that bad, but when it comes to the aggressiveness of a Gillette TTO, it's a different story. Uh, it's depending on the <clears throat> the blade. I've used the uh, a more steeper angle, the more shallow angle. It's just 
I don't know, it's the way that they're designed, but I love the nostalgia of the razors, the old classic, the vintage, the, you know, it's it's nice to have them shaved in and I wouldn't let them go. I, I love the razors. <clears throat> so, uh, I also just now woke up, I had a shower last night, had a uh, hot towel application to the face. My facial hair is still, still coarse, um, so I wanna protect it. I have about a little over 24 hours worth of growth and I'll be using the uh, Phoenix Arsenic Accoutrements, the cube, and this is the mentholated version. Uh, you can't really see the label anymore, it's kind of rubbing off. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be using this here today. And uh, before I forget, I will also be using the matching aftershave balm sample that was uh, sent to me. Um, and the brush of choice will be my Yaki Professional. This is called the Watermelon with the, the Watermelon Red with the cashmere synthetic knot there you go i'm gonna sit, put this into a like, hot uh, cup of water there and uh yeah so the blade is loaded let me go ahead and add this to my face now um last time a while back a matter of fact should i say when i did my video with uh the cube and the williams mug soap i said i didn't know for sure if this was uh had lather booster in it uh, douglas confirmed that uh, on one of his videos not too long ago so um it does have a lather booster in it and douglas's soaps the crown king um are very slick soap so i've never had an issue with them i'm not using this for slickness I'm using this just to soften up the whiskers a little bit. And also add some um, uh, <clears throat> some menthol cooling to my face. So I'm going to go ahead into uh, loading here. There you guys go. Oh, hope I didn't get that on the camera. That's why I don't like doing that on the camera. I'm always worried about it because then... Uh, like I mentioned before, the water gets on the lens and I got to clean the lens and you bump the camera back on the mount and you got to readjust the mount. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, so so this, this soap, um, a couple things I'm worried about here. One, I'm using a blade and razor combo that I'm not used to or that I haven't used, uh, so that can go wrong. Two, the razor is, uh, here you guys go. The razor is a very aggressive uh, TTO for me. Aggression has nothing to do with it. It's just the way that that razor, that way that that blade is, that razor is designed for me, for me. So before you guys start seeing all those weird comments, <laughs> for me, um, I'm gonna go with that. Rinse that off, set it to the side, and let's get to it. Yeah, so that's gonna have something to play with, uh, put into play that I might have an issue with. Um, the other one being, I don't know if I'm gonna have a reaction to the soap, um, being a bay rum scent, um, I don't really like looking into what what's in the products unless I have a reaction to it, or when I got the time and not just feel like not being lazy no more. I'll look into see what the ingredients are. But I do not know if this has any clove in it. Yeah, 
it smells like clove. And now that the scent is on my face, it's actually not that bad. Kind of rinsing off the handle because uh, some of the water is dripping down the handle and this stuff is slick. Now if you guys can see this stuff is already really creamy and don't have enough face here to um, continue adding water. Give the sheen to it, can you guys see that? We'll go with that. <laughs> Warm up my razor and let's get with the first pass with the grain. Right. Yeah, I don't I don't mind the scent. I could share with, you, with just that.
I actually do like the scent. That is weird. So, so far so good. This blade and razor combo feels feels good. We'll see how it goes for the shave. I've noticed that for these razors for me, these Gillette that you lean back on the cap more, right in the cap is what they call it. They feel more comfortable. Everyone's different though. So far, so good. I probably should have stayed quiet though. I may have just jinxed myself. <laughs> Yeah, some in this shave, in this little shave group on Messenger. These guys have been uh, really trying to get me to use some bay rum, and I finally got a chance to use it. So, um, Edwin Juarez, EJ, as he's known, um, Daily Shave, aka the Daily Shave, this one's for you, buddy. Bo, Eric, you guys are right, it's good stuff. EJ, my buddy EJ. He's a big fan of barbers, barbershop scents, but even a bigger fan of uh, Bay Rum. I give him shit all the time because he's always a Bay Rum this, Bay Rum that. Like, dude, if there was a Bay Rum toothpick, he'd probably pick it up. Because he's already got the Bay Rum um, deodorant, but. Uh, yeah, this is nice. He always told me, if you want to get into Bay Rum, this would be a gateway to Bay Rum. He then, um, Douglas Smythe had mentioned that this could be the, um, the gateway, not the gate, he didn't call it the gateway, I forgot what he said, basically the gateway to, uh, um, Third pass against the grain. This is going to be the uh, converter, if you will, or the bay room converter for people to switch over to like in bay room.
and he was right. Man, this shaky hand is not helping me at all. Especially since me and this razor, since me and this razor have not gotten along, it makes me more nervous because I don't want to irritate or cut my face. And my lather's not dry. I have the uh, fan blowing over here because it's freaking hot out here in California. And I got my AC blowing, so it looks like the lather dry, but it's just drying up because of the air. Normally I have it on low, but hopefully it doesn't bother you guys. It's a, it's a bit high there. All right, let me um, pause here and I'm gonna do my clean the passes off camera and uh, do my warm water and cold water rinse and I'll be back in just a minute. All right guys, I just did my my um, warm water, cold water rinse, and my cleanup passes off camera. Let's get in with the alum stick. And you know what? I think I may have found the right blade for that razor. I got a little over shaving here. Got a little carry away. But very, very, very impressed. With this shave, it's an overall fantastic shave. Let me rinse off and uh, be back all right guys fantastic bbs wow what a fantastic shave man um i never thought i i'd master this this one took forever this one did actually take forever found a blade um but i couldn't have done it with the help of such a great soap as well um fantastic um just a little small irritation there. Uh, and a little weeper there I got. 
off camera and fantastic the scent yeah the scent's not strong it's there and uh, i like it um don't have very much there um in the brush and it is it is had it is dried out already uh, if you guys can see even crown king as fantastic as it is you know it this it's this, this excuse me stuttering uh this did the same thing with the um with the taconic the other day but if you add a little water to it um yeah this is what i should have done the other day if you add a little water to it you can reinvigorate it again you guys go Just rinsing off my brush a little bit. Give me a second. Yeah, I don't know what it is about the scent, but it, it has definitely grown on me. I'll rinse this out more when I get a chance. But there is the knot there, if you guys can see. The Yaki Professional. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is about the knot that's not the not the scent of the soap excuse me um has maybe changed my mind so let's get in with the after shave splash Again, always. All right. Um. Yeah, I think I'll be all right with the scent. Let me go ahead and use the balm here. I don't know where I opened this up from. Well, I'll put it from the top, I guess. All right. We'll use that there. It is a scent that I probably have to get used to. But, uh, yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I can see me getting into this. Fantastic. I love it. Okay, so uh, hopefully I didn't waste too much of your time there. <clears throat> Let me go do my little recap. Atomic Age Bay Rum from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, also known as Crown King. Um, there you guys go. Went in with the matching aftershave splash. Uh, complimentaries of my buddy Mike Yasmer over on Instagram. Uh, did a little trifecta this being my sample also uh, the matching at the shape bomb went in with the cube excuse me the cube uh mentholated to assist with a such to assist with such a great uh shave went in with the uh persona israeli reds the platinums uh for my blade my shaver was the Gillette B4 TTO Red Tip. And brush of choice is my Yaki Professional Watermelon Red. That is my shave, guys. Uh, fantastic. Really, really fantastic. That star jelly is amazing. Um, 
beautiful. I really did love it. Uh, so, Mike, again, thank you very much, buddy. This wouldn't have been possible without you and uh, all the guys over at um, those wet shaving guys, as we're known on the uh, messenger group there, that, a little private messenger group that we have there. And uh, it's me, me, Ross, um, uh, EJ, uh, Eric, and Bo. Uh, so with those guys helping me out, talking about Bayram after Bayram, every other sentence is Bayram. Uh, this also would have been possible without EJ and the group of the guys there, Eric and Bo and uh, Ross. So thank you guys very much. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys see this. And uh, thanks for joining me, guys. I will catch you guys on the next one. Y'all stay safe out there. Later.